What's up guys, so Disco Domination recently came out and I love this mode so much I just want to make a commentary on how much I love this damn mode because who knows maybe Epic is watching this video right now And I just want to tell them how much of a great job they did with this mode I mean I am a Fortnite affiliate so maybe they are watching this video and just want to let you guys know you can go to the item shop click on support a creator and then choose to support me uh, that would of course mean a lot since I literally make almost no money from YouTube your support is very much appreciated and it's definitely needed way more than all these big YouTubers need it trust me but anyways let's get right into it one of my favorite things about Fortnite is the action that the game provides you know the goofy gadgets launch pad uh, the weapons, the third person perspective, the building, it's amazing. But one of the biggest struggles that I've always dealt with in Fortnite is the fact that once you die, all of that is just over and you basically just have to look for a fight or you have to look for, you know, another encounter, either in another game or you literally have to wait until all of your friends are dead. And that is the slow paced sort of uh, part that I just don't like about Fortnite or any battle royale game in general. But in Disco Domination, the fact that you can respawn, it's literally what makes the mode just so much fun. The mode has an amazing pace and it literally has non-stop action. Let's say that you die by an enemy player, you can literally just respawn back and then just come back into the great action that Fortnite provides. And I just want to point out if some of you Overwatch players are watching this video, Alright, if uh, some of you Battlefield or Call of Duty guys are watching this video, make sure that you get on Fortnite, it's free, and try out this brand new Disco Domination mode because it's literally the funnest game mode I have ever played on any shooter. And that's crazy, because I have played a couple of shooters throughout the years, Red Faction, Guerrilla, Battlefield, Call of Duty, uh, just to save a few. Gotham City Imposters was also a good one that I played back in the day. Anyways, that's basically one of the best things that I like about this gold domination, the respawning factor, but it's just so much more than that. So for the most part, I also feel like you, you get to enjoy this mode sort of like more since you're getting into more encounters and more fights with a lot of players. And just like Soaring 50s, this game mode is just very chill and laid back. And one of the things that makes it better than Soaring 50s is you just, you know, you can just be aggressive, you can go, go for a specific challenge because if you die, you're just going to be able to respawn. And I don't think that this should be the norm for Fortnite Battle Royale. You know, I actually made a post on the Fortnite Reddit. I mean, everybody's salty in there, you know, it's, it's like a hive mentality on that place. But, you know, this dude was like, oh my god, like if you like respawning, just go back to Call of Duty. I just laughed out loud, but... The point is, you know, I do think that the Battle Royale mode of Fortnite is a ton of fun, but this mode just brings out the best of the entire, like, Fortnite experience, okay? Like I said, it's very laid back, and one of my, another thing that I really like about this mode is that it lets you practice gun skill. Like, I've been wanting to get better at Fortnite Battle Royale gun skill for a long time, but, you know, every time I play solos, duos, or squads, guess what? I get into one encounter, I, made a, I make one mistake, or I fuck up, and guess what, I have to get into another match. And since you have to get into another match and then look for action, okay, you basically just, you're, you're like extending the amount of time that it takes for you to actually acquire great gun skill in the game. And of course, the only way you can do that is if you just play the game every single day, sort of like nonstop. And, you know, for us, some of us that actually have YouTube jobs, like guys, making YouTube videos, it's time consuming. Like when I first started YouTube, I remember I was like, man, I'm gonna be playing so many video games. That's definitely not the case. All right, there are days where I literally cannot play at all just because I'm working on some videos, okay? But anyways, um, another thing that I really like about this mode also is that it just has just more memorable, memorable moments. Uh, I've had a couple of games where I've been playing with my friend Javier, and uh, you know, I've been playing with my friend Dayron, Evan, James, the boy. But the point is, you know, since you get to respawn, you know, you get to work as a team multiple times, and sometimes you just completely obliterate these enemies that are trying to get this flag, or you basically just take a flag all by yourself. I sort of feel like since this mode also has not a lot of building, you are able to, you know, uh, at least like complete more 2v1s. Like, if you were going on like a regular squad game mode in a regular battle royale match, like doing 1v1, I mean 2v1s would be almost next to impossible because of all of the building. And that's another thing that I like about this mode, right? There's sort of like less building, and it's not that I'm against building, it's just that since not a lot of people are farming, alright, or not a lot of people sort of have the hang of how you should go about farming in this game mode, since there's uh, less building, it sort of makes gunfights sort of more enjoyable. I mean, we've all been in those gunfights where you literally just 
jump in you know and the dude just starts building a straight up eiffel tower and you're over there at the bottom because you made a mistake and then you, you fell off from the high ground and then he's literally just gonna stay there right that's also another thing that honestly i don't really can't stand much about fortnite like once someone gets the high ground on you it's almost next to impossible uh if you're a decent builder to actually win it back and this mode since it has less building and people are more careful with their materials uh, it's sort of like more enjoyable and I've been thinking about it and I've been saying it for a long time like the day that Fortnite gets a team deathmatch LTM is the day that Call of Duty is literally gonna be shitting their pants because again the gunplay that Fortnite provides I just don't think it's better than the gunplay that Call of Duty had it's crazy because I never thought I was going to say that back in the day I used to play a lot of Call of Duty I played Call of Duty for years 10 plus years actually and I never thought there was going to be a game that offered more rewarding gameplay than Call of Duty. Because Battlefield's gameplay was okay, but it wasn't as smooth as Call of Duty. Same thing with Gotham City Imposters. Uh, Red Faction Guerrilla was third person, but it wasn't even close to um, uh, Fortnite. Killzone was also third person, but it's not even close to Fortnite. Fortnite is just so damn smooth, alright? But anyways, that's pretty much it. Those are my thoughts on the brand new Disco Domination LTM. If you come from Call of Duty, if you come from any game, if you've never given Fortnite a chance or if you gave Fortnite a chance and you just had a really frustrating time with it, I definitely recommend that you get back into it and you try out the Disco Domination mode because it is one of the funnest gaming experiences that you will ever experience. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course a like on the video is always appreciated and feel free to check out more videos if you're interested in them as well. Peace out and see you guys in the next one.